Well, lads, you said you wanted more. We're back on this godforsaken game. Lords of Football has returned. I did one of these videos last week, and literally all the comments were like, make a series on this. So we're at least going to make this a trilogy of videos. Now, if you don't know already, you haven't seen the first video, I would highly recommend going and checking it out. It'll be in the top right of the screen. But this game, in layman's terms, is a managerial game, but all your players are alcoholics, in essence. <laughs> We have KSI in the team somehow. De a lot happened in the first episode, okay? The whole bats led by manager Corona are back and ready for action, though. Now, the first thing is that we've got a message from our chairman, who has definitely got a suspicious relationship with that secretary. I'm not buying that at all, lads. Well done. You've attracted more attention to the club, even though it was through some players' questionable behavior. I'm currently being praised by my chairman for getting my players addicted to things. KSI? is having a dispute. Where is he? Oh, there they are. They're arguing. Oh, no, I've picked him up by accident. Apologies, lads. KSI just coughed. He genuinely does actually have corona. Probably not a good thing, but I haven't actually looked at how good any of these players are during the course of this series. Could someone explain to me why our regular striker is worse than our substitute striker? Why is everyone coughing? Why are these people even here? Work from home, lads. You probably get more training done. Your mummy is wasting time. He has an addiction. What is he doing? Big man, are you serious? For a start, why has he only got an iPod Nano? Secondly, what are you doing? Get back to training, geezer. The year is 2065. The mummy is still doing absolutely nothing. There's weights in this gym. They've not been touched once. They're a coronavirus-free zone. Ah, uh, yes, I see. The, uh, the tactic screen. Some will argue I'm ahead of my time. Right, listen, lads. I've had enough of watching you run around a bitch. Get out of here, all of you. It's officially time to ruin some livers. I love that I've been stood in here all day. What is my trim, by the way? Do I just stay here the whole time? It's the, when do I get to go home? Look at this man's hair. Look at the trim. It's taken six seconds and there's people at the casino already. I was expecting to see people inside each other at the disco, to be honest. The mummy, after a long, hard day of listening to music at the training ground, is now listening to music at the disco. Hull bats are now playing the Tottenham Wonders. We've got players such as The Flash, The Acrobat, and Hecking Bottom. Oh my god, this formation. We could potentially be found out in this game. The keeper hasn't got much in the way of protection. What's just happened? What is going on? Yeah, there's not good defending going on there, lads. We probably could have done better. The, arguably, the problem here is that he, we've got three players that are marginally open in the middle. Yes, Iola, GDBT on the wing. The ball is in, and it's a goal. We've actually, lads, we've scored. I'm a tactical genius. The side man proves to be the man on the side of the pitch, on the wing, as he puts... No, that's not a good pun. Like, I give up on it already. So what we're saying here is we're the best club in the world, basically. Look at this. Look at us, but what are you doing? What are you playing at? That, to be fair, was pretty acrobatic. That probably wasn't, no. Oh, no. KSI is storming back. No, yeah, I wasn't seeing much beast from you there, sunshine. Again, this is probably the slight downside of this tactical strategy. There is no bouncing of the ball in this game. It doesn't... Oh, no. Please be offside. Oh, God, no. We're in issues again, lads. I can't... <laughs> Listen, we're the whole bats and we're corona-ridden. But please, God, tell me we'll never be that bad. I oh, scored this time as Asignon. Listen, no tactical changes. We go hard or we go home. It, we're looking as if we're going to be going home, lads. I'm confused as to what these faces mean. Helling and De Montagnac, not that happy. Perches, very unhappy. Southam, grown a moustache. Would anyone like to take this free kick at any point in time? We're making our first substitution of this series. 
That guy just materializes a bib out of nowhere. Lads, they're still not taking the free kick. We've had to simulate the rest of the game because it's just completely broken. We'll ignore the score because Tottenham were time wasting. The ref uh, decided to give the win to us. You don't need to question. We've got five addicts in the team. Am I the only one in this situation who feels this isn't great for the football club? I think a chocolate party disco night will really give them something to talk about. Yeah, because they'll be talking about the fact we're all nonsense. Everyone's alright in the locker room. I've been here all night. I've camped here and still no one's come to say hello. I just want some friends. What is going on on the small pitch? Why does it randomly say sex here? And why are there chickens on the pitch? I'm so confused. Oh no, there's people wasting time. Atherton, what are you even doing? Michael, this is not the time. I don't even know how you're doing that. Physics is not applying here. Right, everyone, I've had enough of you all. Meet here. My Michael, all you have to do is walk over there. We're gonna have to start utilizing the clinic, lads. I think the fact that we need an on-site psychiatrist says a lot about the football club. Lads, I'm not gonna lie. I'm worried about every single one of you. For a start, Abdul, you've been blowing your nose for the last 20 minutes and I'm very concerned. You should get yourself tested. And I don't mean like that. There's other people in here that need testing like that, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is I have a fear that you're all addicts. But at the same time, I feel like I should give you the benefit of the doubt and allow you to test it slightly more. What are you two do? No, I said you can go. Sean Schumacher and Gary O'Kane are on the pull again. It's still light outside. What is wrong with you? This guy is wearing sunglasses in a nightclub. Very suspicious behavior if you ask me. The mummy's on the pull now as well. Oh yeah, babe, I'll show you my pyramid. I honestly don't know what it is, but we are really struggling for results. It's just there must be something in the tactics. I just can't put my finger on it for some reason. What is going on? Are these lot drunk from the night before? <laughs> What's going on? No, this is outrageous. These lot are still slush. How am I meant to get them into training? I'm convinced someone just got run over in the background. Gilgallon is stealing. What is going on? I've got two players stealing from different people. Gilgallon, no. Don't try and sneak away. You've been spotted. Where's the conga line? It's over here. <laughs> So these lot are still making their way back from the night before. This conga line is very disjointed. There's not even really much rhythm going on here, lads. I'd say it's a four out of ten. What, who's, what's the, what, Richard Parkinson? Where even are you? Absolutely everybody is addicted to some, this conga line still hasn't finished yet. All right, you know what? I've had enough. Clinic, it's time. The problem is I've forgotten who's addicted to what though. Right, so basically, listen lads, if I'm gonna be honest with you, the conga lines can't continue. Why are there still chickens on my mini football pitch? So all in all, I don't really think you should be drinking any. Oh, would you look at the time? I think training's done. We best be getting out of here. So we've genuinely just done therapy for players who need to stop drinking and now they're all gonna go out and start drinking again. Andrew Robinson was literally just in the therapy. And he's gone straight to the disco. Now, that is actually outrageous. Have you learned nothing from the therapy man? This game is actually disgraceful. So I guess first things first, you know, tell me about yourself. Okay, so have you ever heard of a song called Lamborghini? Ibrahim Apape's on the pull as per usual. This man is growth. Playing out from the back. We are the new Barcelona. We are not Barcelona. KSI is not happy. Clearly distracted by the ongoing tank situation. Oh, we've scored a goal. We're playing Liverpool and we've taken the lead. It's an unbelievable quality goal. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what a ball. De Bison, what are you doing? Playing it. He genuinely could have got out a deck chair, eaten a three pound Tesco meal deal, got out of the deck chair, folded it away, and then put the ball in the back of the net with the amount of time. He had. Well, lads, this is not an ideal scenario, I can't lie. KSI on the ball. KSI still on the ball. This is the chance to win it. 
Oh, what a save from the keeper. The ball is in from the corner and the keeper saves it again. We are tactical geniuses. We have snuck a point in the league and in the fight against relegation. But more importantly, it means the players can immediately go out and get drunk. Oh my God. Matthew Stewart is still absolutely sozzled. Mate, you're going out anyway. Why did no one supervise him on the night out? Oh no, we've got a player stealing again. Why are you walking? Like that. I caught you yesterday. I'm literally stood right there, mate. What are you doing? Why is one of my goalkeepers walking off in the background? This is genuinely like looking after four-year-old children. Matthew Stewart is still in the square. Big man, it's been about two in-game hours. You've not even got close. I don't know where the drunk guy is. We genuinely might have lost the player forever. Where are you going, geezer? Oh, he's taking pictures with fans. You're next to a bus stop and a car park. You could have at least chosen a better position for insta content oh there he is it's matthew stewart i thought we lost him forever these lot are actually impossible to control now i think it's fair to say i've lost the dressing room gary o'kane it's literally a monday how are you still going out oh my god matthew stewart's collapsed oh god i don't know what happens now this is this is not a good situation fair to say his energy level is slightly depleted oh he's back he's back in action we're into the night time of the next day and he's still still drunk you know what i've had enough i've had enough of looking after drunk people constantly matthew stewart has collapsed again that is where we're gonna leave it for today playing perhaps the greatest football game of all time again if you want to see a third episode let me know down in the comment section below i'll be sure to do so if you enjoyed this video though slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel it's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out you can also follow me on social media. It's at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.